But this semester is actually insane. Even though I'm not in the greatest headspace right now, I don't think I'm ready to kind of talk about it yet. Um, it was just a rough time on my mental health. How's it going? I haven't really daily vlogged in a little bit, and then you guys probably saw my last vlog a week ago or a couple weeks ago. I'm starting off this vlog on not such a bright note. This was kind of a rough week for me, and if you follow me on TikTok, then you probably saw what happened. I don't think I'm ready to kind of talk about it yet. Um, it was just a rough time on my mental health. I guess that just made me sort of my feelings a little bit, and then I decided that I should check in with you guys and ask, how are you feeling? How are things going for you? If you're in school, how's school going? If you're working, how's that? I genuinely want to know because I was lucky enough to have people checking in on me. And I feel like I can check in with you guys and ask how you guys are and how you're feeling. So, even though I'm not in the greatest headspace, oh my god, it's so bright. Alright, I'm gonna cross the street because it's way too bright. Alrighty, so as I was saying, even though I'm not in the greatest headspace right now, I'm gonna try to stay positive because things happen and it's not the end of the world. I know that. But it was just something that I just had an experience in a long time so just something that i have to deal with and move forward i will it's fine today i didn't go to any in-person classes but i am headed to school today because we're actually getting a respirator fit tested and if you guys don't know anytime that we're working in the clinical setting we will have to be wearing n95 respirators in order for them to work properly and actually protect you they have to properly be fitted to your face so that's what we're actually going to do today the reason why we're doing it so early is normally d2s get to rotate through the different specialty clinics and get to experience all of the different rotations when we are in the second semester of D2 year but our class council has been really amazing this year and they've been working really hard to arrange for us to be able to shout out in um, some of the specialty clinics early so in order to do that even though we're not actually doing anything in a clinical setting just being there we still have to wear respirators we're getting fit tested today there's actually certain rules that I had no idea about when it comes to fit testing you're not allowed to if you're a man you're not allowed to have like a beard or any facial hair and for anyone who's getting fit tested you're not allowed to like chew gum or eat or drink anything Thing that is not water at least 30 minutes before the fit testing I'm actually gonna ask how that affects it because I'm kind of curious and I feel like the reason why I wanted to vlog today even though I'm not in the greatest ad space is just to keep myself accountable so I think that even though certain hurdles will come up about how you handle them I just need to keep myself accountable and not sit in my slump get back into it and continue doing things all right so I'm gonna check in with you guys when we're actually getting the respirator fit testing if they'll let me film maybe I'll film it we shall see We're getting food because we couldn't eat food beforehand. I am starving. Also couldn't drink beforehand either, so Chipotle has like lemonade. You can kind of see a little like marks on my face still. I did not miss that ever since working in a dental office during the pandemic. It's what you gotta do to be safe in clinic. I think probably the last time that I had Chipotle, it was in a vlog that was like months ago. <laughs> it was a day we took yearbook photos. So long. So good. Even though it has a ton of salt. But because I know that if I go home, I'm not gonna study. I think it's the library because this semester is actually insane. Just had exams this week. I literally fully thought that I had until the end of October until our next exam. But our next exam is next weekend. <laughs> so I didn't realize that, but thank God that I realized it now and not <laughs> next weekend. We always have an exam window usually for a BHD exam. Our window opens Saturday to Monday. The exam that we took this week was in person, so that was a little different, but at least we have three to four days to figure out when we're gonna take it and if you need like that buffer of doing a little bit of extra studying and catching up. So I was surprised too. I was like, I I saw my classmates kind of just go right back to studying for uh, GI, which we're doing now. And I thought, oh my gosh, like everyone's so responsible. Everyone's like getting really ahead because we have until the end of October, but it's not until the end of October. It's literally until next week. So I'm kicking myself into high gear and actually catching up on all the stuff I neglected while I was studying for this other exam that I had. So I just got back home and it is quite literally 10.30 at night. Teddy's very happy to see me, but he's very upset that he's been home alone for a few hours. So I'm gonna take this little munchkin for a walk and feed him his dinner, which is a little bit late today, but it's okay. Trust me guys, he gets plenty of treats <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> In fact, I recently took him to the vet. Normal weight for corgis is about 30 pounds and this little chonker is now 33 pounds. So we have to put him on a little bit of a diet anyway. <laughs> yes, I know, look at you, look at you strong boy. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay, hey. 
was a little afraid of the camera today. It's so funny. I filmed him with this camera before and I filmed around him with this camera before. For some reason, he was really scared of it today, especially when like the, the lens kind of pops out when you turn it on. Teddy, you okay with the camera? You okay with the camera? Oh, see, why are you scared of it? I don't know why you're scared of it. I, don't, I wonder if it's the lens. At least you guys got to see him a little bit. Come. <laughs> so while Teddy is eating his dinner before I take him out, I wanted to chat with you guys about something really sad that I found out today. For my fellow Potterheads, because yes, I still use that expression because I am a Potterhead. I was ordered into Hufflepuff. I identify more as a Gryffindor. I don't know. Actually a Ravenclaw. I don't know. I'm a little bit of everything. It was a really sad day for fellow Potterheads because Robbie Coltrane, who is the actor that played Hagrid, unfortunately passed away. And I was talking to someone about this because I posted a story about it on Instagram. They were saying how it's so sad. And I said, part of growing up, I guess, is seeing your favorite actors that you grew up with and you watched your entire life, basically, and were kind of like your comfort on screen pass away. And I had my first realization when this happened when, two years ago, actually, when uh, Alan Rickman suddenly passed away. I think I was still in high school when that happened. It was just really shocking because he was pretty young. It just shows you. I still sometimes think I'm in my late teens and I'm in almost my mid 20s. I never thought about the fact that as I grow older, people that I've known, obviously I don't know the actors in Harry Potter, but it's people that I've, I've grown up with and you know I feel attached to. And oh my God, if Maggie Smith ever passes away, that's gonna be a tragic day as well because that woman is a legend. She literally went through like chemotherapy treatments while she was filming the last movies. Go her. I don't know, it made me kind of sit and think about things a little bit today because not only is it sad because I'm sure he, he was a wonderful man and you know, he portrayed this character really well. Life is not forever and, and people aren't gonna be around forever. I haven't really come to terms with is that like I'm growing up and people that I've kind of known my entire life are not always gonna be around. It's a sad day for a lot of Harry Potter fans around the world today. Honestly, I kinda wanna rewatch some of the movies this weekend because it's like spooky season, it's October, I mean, kind of a rough week, and those movies, are, the Harry Potter movies have always been my comfort movies. It's kind of like my party trick. I can literally mute the movie at any point, any of the movies, by the way. You can mute them at any point and I could pretty much nine times out of 10, recite the dialogue for you without even looking at the screen. But yeah, I grew up on Harry Potter and so today was, you know, made me think and rest in peace to Robbie Coltrane, a fantastic, fantastic performer who brought the most comforting characters to life. Man, yeah, I just thought I'd mention it.